solve y minus z into p plus z minus x into q equal to x minus y. Now find the general solution of the Lagrange's linear PDE. Okay, now this is very simple problem. Now given equation solution part. Now given equation is of the form PP plus QQ equal to R. Now this is capital P, capital Q, and capital R. Okay. Now auxiliary equation is. Now auxiliary equation is a dx by capital P that is a y minus z that is equal to dy by capital Q that is z minus x equal to dz by capital R that is x minus y. Call this is equation number one. Okay. Now, now consider uh, this equation equation number one. Now first to check any two suitable terms and take and separate the variable then integrate it is not possible to separate the variable in this equation now that time now equation number equation number one means taking this equation number one using a multipliers okay now multipliers the multipliers are one 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 each ratio is equal to okay means multiply by one 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 and add it multiply by one 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 and add it now this uh, using multipliers one 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 that means dx plus dy plus dz multiply by one 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 and add it and multiply one 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 and add it that is a y minus z plus z minus x plus x minus y okay so we want denominator part become zero okay so taking multipliers one 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 now plus minus plus minus minus plus that means dz plus dy plus dz and this is denominator part is zero now therefore now this equation dx plus dy plus dz equal to zero that's all okay now after integrating okay now integrating with respect to x, with respect to y, with respect to z, one by one separately, that is a x plus y plus z. After integration, this one we get x plus y plus z equal to integral constant. Okay, now one more required again consider equation number one. Okay, again consider equation number one. Once again, we multiply, oh sorry, we using multipliers. Okay multipliers will takes another variable different variable that is a x y z okay x y z each ratio each ratio is equal to okay now multiply by consider equation number one multiply by x multiply by y multiply by z add it multiply by x multiply by y multiply by z and add it okay now you get multiply by x x dx plus y dy plus z dz okay basically we want this denominator part become zero so depending on denominator you multiply us different numbers variables whatever okay now multiply by x okay this one is a x y minus x z then multiply by y plus yz minus yx and multiply by z that is a xz minus and yz okay now see plus xy minus xy minus xz plus xz plus yz minus yz that means x dx plus y dy plus z dz this part becomes zero now is it correct okay now therefore finally x dx plus y dy plus z dz equal to 0 and integrating integrating integration of x with respect to x you get x square by 2 plus integration of y with respect to y you get y square by 2 integration of z with respect to z you get z square by 2 that is equal to second integral constant okay that is c2 
okay now therefore 2 is a take right hand side means x square plus y square take LCM shift right hand side x square plus y square plus ZX is equal to 2c2 now therefore general solution is phi of uv now this is u and this is a v that is a x plus y plus z and x square plus y square plus z square equal to 0 now this is required general solution of the Langlais's linear PDE please subscribe our channel Please like and give the comment. Thank you.